What have you brought to the harvest today? Well, I brought items, advertising items. This, of course, was a, I don't know if it was a soda bottle or not. So I'm really not sure. It's a very old bottle, as you can see. I know nothing about it. This was Dreyfus Brothers Clothiers in Milton, Pennsylvania. It was on Front Street. You know, I bought things there, and when they closed their doors, I bought a plastic-backed but uh, tapestry bag, garment bag, you know, for $25. I remember that, and I, I use it a lot. Milton was a, a wow, a wonderful place for our stores, Friday night, Saturday afternoon. The, the, the streets were packed, you know. We had so many shops, and of course, when the redevelopment came in, and the one-way street, and then the mall started. So that pretty much wiped out. We had so many jewelry stores. We have one now. We have one shoe store, you know, but this town isn't the same that we knew growing up. I have Broadway Shoe Store, 20 Broadway, and it's a dictionary from, oh Lord, I don't know how long ago, 1926 edition. So I have a lot of advertising items. This is Charles Mays. They sold tombstones. Well, let's see. Um, we used to go up. My mother was a hairdresser. Dixie Lee, named after me. She, she didn't have me until 10 years after they were married. And of course, for, you know, nine years, 10 years, I was a spoiled brat. You know? And I used to uh, wait around for her. We'd go to the second or, or first or second show, show at the Capitol Theater. Uh, I waited, you know, I'd sweep the floors or whatever for her. She'd always sit in the loge, unless it was a, you know, a really popular movie. And I remember seeing uh, Gone with the Wind and uh, The Wizard of Oz with her. And um, so then after my brother was born, you know, she gave up her beauty shop and one of her operators bought it. My mother moved from Northumberland to, because her sister, Belle, Christabel was here, married a Newhart. She married a Nyhart, my family. And um, she moved to Lincoln Street because then she paid my Aunt Belle to uh, cook for me and watch over me. I was sick all the time, ran over there and, you know, give me my comic books or whatever, you know. <laughs> and uh, she, her husband and sons, my cousins, they worked at ACF, which was very, very close. So her husband and two sons would come home for lunch and she'd have a good meal, you know, and uh, I would eat with them. My cousin Kay was born later. She's a year and a half younger. So we were like sisters, and Belle would do her dishes and take us over through the cornfield to Chamberlain's to go in the river every summer afternoon. And the Kepler family lived in the house there. And it was so, from five to 12, I had the most wonderful childhood anybody. I love Milton. And it's gotten a lot of rap, you know, bad rap. But we know it when it was, and, and it's still a wonderful town.